G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing yet another water cooling tutorial. A bit of an upgrade from the previous one that we did about a year and a half ago. Now that we're in our own set, we can have a tiny bit of quality hopefully to the videos. Here we have two exact same size radiators, same thickness, same length, uh, both 360 millimeter radiators. We have a Phobia G Charger and Black Ice Nemesis, both 360 millimeter radiators. They're about 45 to 50 mil thick. But I'm gonna show you guys how one can achieve more cooling potential than the other. Consider this a bit of a tutorial on how you can achieve more cooling with the exact same size radiator. And guys, if you like videos like this, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Are there any other water cooling tutorials that you would like to see on the channel? Because of course we do water cooling pretty much every single day, all those custom PCs that you guys see. So stick around to find out more. As I said guys, two radiators, both 360 millimeter radiators. We have the Black Ice Nemesis here, and of course the Fovia G Charger. Now, how can I achieve more cooling in one radiator than the other? So fins per inch or fin density is how we are able to achieve this. This particular radiator right here is rated for 10 FPI, 10 fins for every inch that are on this radiator. This one is rated for 16 fins per inch, and this is also a split fin design, meaning that for each water channel that is going down this radiator, there is fins going in between them for cooling and dissipating the heat out of the liquid cooling loop. However, these fins are split in half, so it's a dual fin design. So how does this all work? So in this radiator here with the 10 fins per inch, we're able to let more air flow through it. However, that reduces the surface area that we are able to cool because there are less fins. Now with this one, it's got a greater surface area without actually having to get a bigger radiator or a thicker radiator because there are more fins to cool. Now, are there any negative effects of having a radiator with a greater FPI? So this all has to do with static pressure and airflow. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys know on the market there are two different types of fans that you can really look for. You can look for ones with really good airflow or ones with really good static pressure. Now the airflow fans, they're really good for case airflow, getting the air through and out the other side, dissipating the heat within the case. Those airflow fans would be better suited to use on one of these. So would the static pressure, but the airflow would be great for these as well because there is actually more room for the air to get through this radiator. It also means that you are able to run those fans a lot cooler because there is no pressure for the air to get through because of the amount of room it has in between each fin. This radiator, however, might need fans that are better for static pressure. More static pressure means that it's able to force the air through these fins. Now, if you use airflow fans on this, it may not cool as well, and therefore this radiator might perform a bit better than this one. But with static pressure fans, that is what they are designed for. They're designed to get the air through all of these tight spaces in between the fins of a high FPI radiator. What that means is you're able to achieve a lot more cooling in the same area right here. So when are we actually going to see these benefits come into play? So if you have a regular CPU, GPU loop, you probably won't notice too much benefit out of having either one of these. They'll probably perform pretty much the same. Where are you going to really benefit from having a radiator with such a high FPI is in systems where you maybe got multiple GPUs, uh, you're constantly under load, that's where all of that extra cooling potential is going to come into play and you'll certainly notice the results. It might only be a few degrees here and there, but that few degrees is certainly worth it, especially if you're starting to hit any thermal limits or anything like that. Now, if you're just going for a simple loop, then certainly look at these type of radiators here, it's plenty of cooling for a CPU GPU loop. Now normally when you buy a case, you are given a couple of fans with it. Those fans, they're not really good for using on radiators. They're just the, the cheapest stuff. So when you're out on the market and searching for fans, you wanna look at the static pressure or the airflow, depending on the type of radiator that you get, and of course the fins per inch. Now, one other problem that you might run into is if you do buy 
one of these radiators. If you do not have more, then you're gonna have to run your fans at possibly a higher RPM. And by running fans at a higher RPM, you're introducing more noise into the system. So maybe when shopping, it's probably good to go for an even balance of airflow and static pressure, for an even balance of FPI to try and keep that noise level down as well. But if you do decide to add more radiators into the loop, you've increased your cooling potential. Therefore, you can turn your fans down in RPM and reduce the noise. So I hope this video has helped those of you out there looking to do some water cooling. You can achieve more cooling with the same size radiator, but if you are getting more FPI in one than the other. Remember, if there are more fins, there is more surface area to cool. It's not just about the dimensions of it. You have to take into account the amount of fins within the radiator itself. I hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope this information was helpful. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about radiator FPI and if any of you have considered that when purchasing your radiators. Also, when you guys go out to buy fans, do you buy airflow fans or static pressure? Is that something you actually look at or do you just buy the fans that look the best? Let me know down below as well. Hope you all enjoyed guys. Remember we have a Patreon now as well. Thank you for the two of you who are currently supporting the channel. It is greatly appreciated. If any of you guys do want to help support the channel and fund some of our you know, custom PC builds, they actually cost a lot of money to build. Patreon link is down in the description below. Like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.